Hello once again players of good video games. My name is Nick Pell and this is a review for Beyond Two Souls. Now I won't be talking about the ending to this game here. I might touch on it later if you guys want me to but I'll be talking about the game as a whole and my thoughts on it. So yeah just know that and Let's go. The game is the first, one of the first of its kind to actually uh, star an actor as the main character in its game. And the game stars Ellen Page as Jody Holmes. And she is this girl who, ever since birth, has had a supernatural connection to some sort of supernatural creature. Um, ever since birth, she has been connected to this person, or thing, and she uh, doesn't really know a whole lot about it. She can control him. Um, every so often, but uh, it really is an entity in and of itself. She calls it Aiden, and um, that is just the name that it goes by. And the game focuses mainly on Jody and Aiden's stories, and uh, seeing uh, where Jody goes from uh, her time in a lab as a young girl to being a teenager to uh, going into the uh, FBI and doing missions for them to being homeless to being uh, stranded in the desert and just a bunch of different things um, and it's just a really really fun time um, of a game the game also stars William Defoe as Nathan Dawkins and um, he also does a really really good job um, in his role he is also pictured and they do like they make his character look really similar to him just like they do with Helen Page and uh, he acted all of, they both acted all these roles and it's just really really well done and it looks great the whole time uh, I th I'm pretty sure all the characters in the game were acted by actual individuals so uh, yeah the, the other graphics besides that look really good as well there's there's some issues here or there I want to say but um, it's nothing really to be concerned about in terms of uh, gameplay. The gameplay follows kind of the same format as Heavy Rain. You, when you talk with somebody, you are given dialogue choices. You're given about 10 seconds to make a choice before it just uh, has you be silent and uh, just proceeds with the conversation. And uh, you can choose more or less the good answer, the neutral answer, or the snotty answer, for lack of a better term. And yeah, it, it kind of changes how you play the game like I tended to try to get on people's good sides when I could um, but then if somebody pissed me off uh, you had the option to make their life hell so like there are a few times where you get to uh, take control of Aiden and if you choose to you can exact revenge on the individuals who are causing you harm and it's just a really really interesting way to do the game that's the other aspect of the gameplay is Aiden uh, Aiden can go through walls um, and interact with different environments and objects, but much of the time of the game, um, he has to stay within a certain area of Jody, so you can't go all the way across a level um, and uh, take out all the guys and just make an easy path. You have to stay within a certain uh, parameter of Jody or else um, it goes gray and it's like she um, like loses the connection and you don't want that. Aiden has the ability to interact with humans as well. He can take control of them and allow them to kill their comrades. He can kill, just, just kill people, just choke them out uh, with his paranormal power and um, he can um, kind of make them uh, sense his presence, so to say, um, in the game um, as he sees fit. And it's just a very interesting way to go about a game. Uh, while like Heavy Rain had a few, while Heavy Rain was kind of more story driven, uh, this is also very story driven, but it has a fair amount of gameplay. Um, and there are points where you have to be stealthy and um, take cover while at others you'll have to uh, fight paranormal monsters um, with Aiden and uh, it's just a very interesting game and that could possibly be one of the flaws that is that a lot of times it felt like a bunch of different games um, all at once like like I said you do a bunch of different things uh, there's a point where you're horseback riding that felt kind of like Red Dead Redemption there's a point where you are in a war zone esque situation and it kind of feels like a um, Call of Duty, Gears of War type of situation, um, and then there are points where you're just walking around a house and interacting with objects, and that can be uh, similar to The Sims. It's just a bunch of different 
versions and ways to play a game and just from different ways of doing things and at times that did get a little bit confusing in that you would learn how to do something uh, in one chapter and then you wouldn't have to really use that skill until like seven chapters later uh, such as the stealth and the um, shooting aspect of the game. The fighting system uh, you use as Jody, uh, you essentially move the analog stick uh, in the direction that sh her character is moving and then you complete that and you either uh, hit an enemy, you block them, or you dodge, or you do something along those lines. And uh, that I thought worked actually really well. Um, it's a little confusing as, as to um, what way she's moving sometimes, but for the most part it's very readable and it's something that isn't really too much of a worry or a frustration. So yeah, getting to enjoyment. Uh, I really enjoyed my time with Beyond Two Souls. I thought it was a very interesting game and one that I would be really interested in seeing more of in the future in terms of actors portraying characters in a video game and making it kind of like this video game movie type of situation where you are uh, controlling the dialogue and some minute things that happen but it is leading you along this actual story progression and you play the game in any way that you want and choices that you make and define the experience for you and I think I saw some interview um, somewhere that the director of the game said that you should only play the game once so you can keep that sole way that the game turned out for you, um, especially with the ending and seeing uh, what choices you make in that regard. And so overall, really good game. If you haven't picked this up yet, it's a PS3 exclusive. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they remade it for PS4 before a sequel came out, if they do a sequel. So definitely check it out. It's well worth your time and I highly recommend it. So. Like, fair, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, my good people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on gaming. Hey, what the fuck are you doing?